Hey, what's up, guys? Ali here. Uh, in this lesson, we want to see how we can create this bridge inside of SketchUp. Uh, the modeling process is pretty simple, actually. Uh, we just need to create a sine curve uh, and then create various types of uh, these curves uh, and then create this structure by lofting these curves together. And then um, we just need an arc to create the surface. Okay, let's start and see uh, how we can model this bridge. So I will select all of these and turn them into a group and let's hide this first. And then I would look at it from the front view and I would uh, go into Draw tab in the Curve Maker, which is a plugin I've uh, installed on SketchUp and click by clicking on the cosine icon over here. I would click on origin and then draw a curve like this and we would uh, set the from cycle to 0.5 and to cycle to 2.5 and we would uh, set the sides to 64 and this would be the result so let me just scale it down a bit and then I would move this down to over here and then we would look at it from the left view and rotate it from this point for 20 degrees and I would explode this curve and select it and move it to the right to over here and I would scale it to this point and select both of these curves and then move them down to about here and then scale them up to over here and uh, we would want to use the curve loft loft by SP line to loft these four curves together and I would click on close the loop and click on the uh, junction by connected lines and we would set the segments to one and then click to confirm this loft and um, I would right click and click on soft and smooth edges and we would just delete all the other curves that we had and let me just set the field of view to 35 degrees and now I would want to go inside this group and then look at it from the front view and activate the parallel projection and select all these edges these border edges and then we would use the make s4u make face plugin to turn these lines into a face uh, you could actually do it by uh, drawing a line so that's also a easy way to do it um, so now I would look at it from the top view and select this structure and use the s4u mirror to make a mirror of it to this side and I would look at it from the front view and draw a curve, draw an arc over here like this and we would set the segments to 128 segments and then hit the enter key so let me just see if it's correct, okay and uh, we would want to make another mirror of this line, uh, this arc, and then use the loft by SP line to loft these two curves together. I would set the segments to one and then click to confirm this. And I would look at it uh, from the top view and click on this point and this point to create a curve. And I would activate the X ray and click on this point. And I would just use the vertex tool to extrude these lines. And um, I would triple click, turn it into a group, look at it from the front, uh, top view and make a mirror of it to the other side and then go inside this group. Actually, before I go inside this group, I would select both of these curves and then uh, click on hide. And now I would go inside this group and right click on this face and click on intersect faces with model.
and I would uh, go look at it from the uh, top view and select this face and turn it into a group and we would just delete all the other parts and now I would just select all of these uh, groups that we had and delete them and I would bring back our curves that we had over here All right, um, now if I go inside this group and if we go inside this group over here and turn on the vertex tools, we can see that we have some extra edges, extra points over here. And this is not what we want. We want uh, 128 segments with the same distance between all the segments. So uh, I would select this curve so i would double click on this face and then deselect um, this face and these two edges and then make copy of these two curves and then triple click and hit delete and then paste these two curves in place and i would triple click on this curve and then right click on it and then in the bz convert to tab which is uh, for the bezier sp line plugin uh, from the fredo 6 and if I click on polyline segmenter, I can now change it to 128 segments and then click on OK. And this would change um, the segments to 128 without those small segments that we had earlier. And uh, you can see the difference over here uh, that we have these small edges and this. So I would triple click on this edge again and then I would right click and in the BZ convert to, I would click on polyline segmenter and then change the number of segments to 128 and click on OK. And now I would want to select both of these curves and then click on uh, loft by SP line and then set the segments to one and click on, uh, click to confirm this uh, loft. And I would want to use a uh, joint push pull. All right, we have this thread of six joint push pull over here, and we want to use a vector push pull to push pull this face to over here. And uh, we want to go inside this group and then select one of these edges and use the quad face tools and uh, click on insert loops to just create a loop over here, create a line. And then we would want to click on this edge again. We want to divide this surface so we could uh, create the road uh, on this bridge. And then click on this edge again. And then click on insert loops and once again. And uh, we would want to go inside this group. And then turn on the hidden geometry and then click on this uh, line and then click on insert loops. And now we would want to loft these two curves together. And click on uh, junction by connected lines and then uh, set the segments to one. And then we would click on generate the junction edges, no face, and click to confirm this. And then we would go inside this group and we would want to look at it from the front view and then select all these edges and then hit the delete key and also these edges, and also these edges. And we would want to select all these edges and then use the S4U Components plugin, and then click on uh, Lines to Components, and then we would want to delete all the edges, and then we would want to go inside this components. And then I would bring up the Profile Builder dialog, and uh, we would want to set this to 0.01, and then click on build along path. And this would create these structural elements of this bridge for us. And I would select this group and then look at it from the top view and make a mirror of it to the other side. We could also insert some loops over here too 
and we would select these two faces and then use the vector push pull to, and also we would want to use just the erase original face the classic push pull and then move this down to over here and we would want to apply a asphalt material and select all and deselect these two faces and then click on a black top old and we would select all of these groups and then move them up to a zero level in the z-axis and that's it this is how easy it was to create this bridge inside of SketchUp. It actually looks uh, complicated at first glance when we are looking at it, but uh, if we know how to just use the curves to create such structures, it becomes ex extremely easy to create such uh, models inside of SketchUp. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and share your comments. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.